So we want to start making our boat. So we're going to go to File, click on New for a new file. Remember, we have Part, which creates an individual part. We have Assembly, which takes multiple parts, puts them together. And then we have the Drawing, which makes our technical drawing or orthographic view that we're going to do at the end. For the boat project, we're just using parts and just making drawings. We are not using the assembly for this one because we're just using one part. So we're using millimeters. So over here in the templates, make sure we are clicking metric. And then our part, make sure we are clicking our standard part and hit create. First thing we want to do is we want to draw our full size block that we're going to be using. So we're going to start our sketch. I'm going to pick this bottom plane here, this XZ plane, and we are going to draw the rectangle of our top. So I'm going to click my rectangle right here, click in the origin. So if you remember, our maximum size that this can be is 76 millimeters. And if I hit, so I just type in 76. If I hit tab, I'll come over to here on the keyboard. And maximum length is 305. So what happened to my rectangle, again, I just got to zoom out. On the scroll wheel, just scroll, you can zoom out. You can also click on, if you're zoomed in, this button right here, and that will bring it to my full extent. If this panel over here ever disappears, if you click View, User Interface, that's this Model button. So a lot of times that might disappear if you accidentally click it, so View, user interface model. If this ever disappears, that's your navigation bar and your view cube. So that's where that is. Going back over to sketch. So I want to finish my sketch. That's my two-dimensional top of my block. To make it three-dimensional, I have to extrude. So how high do I extrude it? Is maximum it can be is 25, or some of the directions might say 25.4, 25, hit OK. So this is my block right here, my block of wood that we're going to be using to make our boat. So on your graph paper, you should have your top drawing, your side drawing, and your front drawing. So now we're going to take these three drawings and put them on these three faces here. So let's start with the, let's start right here with our front view. So I'm going to hit start my sketch, click it, and now I can use my line tool, my arc tool, my circles, all these tools that you should be familiar with to draw your boat. So this is where those measurements come into play. So I know exactly how big each of these needs to be based on what I've done before. So I know that this is 24 millimeters from here to here. I know that's 6 millimeters from there to there. So I can come over here. I can take a line tool, bring this over 24, hit enter. I can take my line tool, bring this one down 6, hit enter. So now it's just all about making this look good, making it look like you're drawing right here. Now since this is the catamaran style and it's symmetrical, what I, all I have to do is worry about drawing one half of it right here, and then I can mirror that and make that the other one. So I'm only going to draw this half right here. So from that point down to here, And let's just draw a line across here. And my top line. Now you'll notice in the middle of my crosshair, there's that little yellow circle. If I move that along my line, 
eventually it's going to turn green right there. So when it turns green, that lets me know that that point right there is in the very center of this top line. So that's 76, so I know if I come over here, it turns green, that's 38 millimeters. That's perfect. It's right there in the center. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a center line down here. You can just draw a line, or the proper way of doing it is you come up here to the top, and this one right here is a center line. So what this will do, if I click that center line, click my line, and now if I come down here, the computer knows it turned that into a dotted line. It knows that that's the very center. Let's get rid of that. Just remember, turn that off if you're going to do anything else. So now, let's get rid of these extra lines I don't need. So let's trim. Remember, I might have to get rid of these dimensions. So just click your dimension, click delete. Get rid of any line I don't need. And I'm going to use this mirror tool. So I click my mirror. This is a two step process. First thing I'm going to use the select, and I'm going to highlight all my parts. Then I'm going to click my mirror line. And I'm going to click where my mirror line is. So just like looking into a mirror, whatever you click on is what it's going to reflect on. So if this is going to be my mirror, and I hit apply. So now, That is perfectly symmetrical, and it should match up with our drawing right here. So I'm going to hit Finish Sketch. So that is the side. So if you just want to test it out, make sure it works. You can extrude it. So remember, we've got the join, which makes it bigger, or brings it outward. We've got the cut, which brings it inward. So if I want to get rid of it for some reason, and I've got the intersect which is the one we're going to be using. So that's just to make sure it works. Now you'll notice when I hit the extrusion button it only brought out half of it that first time I did it. So you might have to click both halves. Alright so that is one face. So now we're going to do the other two as well.